Hello, greetings, salutations. Let's see if this is working. Hey, it actually is working. It's noontime here at Coffin Comics in Arizona. y'all doing everybody thank you very much hi josh how are you for celebrating lady death day with us yesterday that was a hoot to see all these amazing posts eric ace how are you guys hi hi guys thank you for celebrating my special day hi hi jay how are you greetings and salutations everyone Thank you everyone for sharing and putting all those posts up, all those amazing pictures of the standees. Also, I really loved uh, getting a reminder of some of the uh, stuff that were posted in previous years. So, hi everybody, how are you? I'm the Hooligan. Welcome to the Catacombs. It's Wednesday hump day, we're almost through this week. What does that mean? Valentine's Day weekend's coming up. And I have some really beautiful things I wanna show you guys. Um, but first, let's talk about Lady Death Day yesterday. Uh, we had a lot of these get printed out, shown off. Uh, some folks were uh, sharing some of the ones they did previous years. It was a lot of fun to see this. It was a lot of fun to see everyone's favorite collections, uh, or I should say their collectibles, and the other items um, of all things Lady Death. So it was great to see. Thank you, everybody. Um, 27 years, we're still growing strong. We're never gonna go away. Lady Death is here to stay. And I think that that means a lot and it's all because of all you folks. So thank you guys very much. And um, one of our viewers, um, one of the sworn, one of the fiends, wrote an amazing poem. And I think you know guys know who it's from, from the very fun, amazing, talented Jay Taylor. And uh, I'm going to have to take off my sombrero. My little chin strap broke, so I'm sad. Um, I have to fix my sombrero. Um, so I might have to go to my backup sombrero. So we'll see how that does. So, in honor of Lady Death Day yesterday, I would like to read this poem that uh, Jay had written and posted. A Celebration of the Day is the name. Twenty years passed and Lady Death awakened. Her foes, her allies, and her, her life all but taken. All seemed lost, the decades were dreams. For those who did this, she would hear their screams. Through the years, we've read her adventures. Some of us old now, even some with dentures. <laughs> we watched our other companies try new origins and rewrites. And we said, no thank you, go away, go to hell, and good night. For those of us loyal, the fiends and the sworn, we kept hope alive, old or reborn. Parentheses, see what I did there? We do, CJ. 27 years and still Lady Death rocks. Grab a book, kick back with a coffee or scotch. To Brian, we say thanks for the past 27 years. And here's to many more. Thank you again. Cheers. Thank you, Jay. Amazing poem. This is the third one um, he has written and asked me to um, read on the air. So, Jay, another one out of the park. I salute you. We all salute you. Thank you very much um, again for another amazing poem. Everybody, let's get a round of applause to Jay Taylor. Everyone, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jay. So, yesterday was a lot of fun. I want to show you guys uh, some of the things that... Um, with some of these great photos, there's a little contest. And we're going to have, just show you guys um, what some of the winners are going to get when we pick them. Including this nice little mock-up of the interior pages that we uh, use here to uh, promote uh, during the last How Witch Kickstarter. So someone will be receiving one of these. Another example of the raw pencil editions. Also, these are from the interior pages. Very beautiful. And um, figure, hey, 
let's throw in the color versions as well. So, for those lucky folks that posted stuff onto uh, for Lady Death Day, this is just a nice little sampling of things we're gonna send your way as a way of saying thank you, that post rocked. So thank you everybody. Holy cow, Valentine's Day already. Um, we have some great stuff starting Friday that I'd like to show you guys. Um, we are doing the dar uh, Darkest Hearts Valentine's Day celebration starting Friday, 9 a.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time, which is 8 a.m. on the Pacifics and 11 a.m. on the Easterns. Pacifics, Easterns, yes. Um, we are expecting to ship this stuff at the end of March. And let me show you some of these beauties that we have for you. Sun K is back with us. And man, oh man, has she got some beautiful... Boom, right here. This is the Lady Death Heartbreaker number one, I Heart You edition by Sun K. Really beautiful, beautiful piece. I have exactly, we, I think we have about 300 of these. And that's it. It's going to be a limited edition run. So once editions are sold out, they will be sold out. So check it out. Sun K, really hot, hot artist. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of people um, bringing her up, talking about her art. Um, even some retailers are starting to notice, oh, who's this Sun K artist? It's like, yeah, that's right. She's done some amazing work in the past and she's continued to do so. And she is becoming a name in the industry. So keep an eye out on, on her, guys. She's someone to look out for. Another beautiful piece she did for us. This is the Naughty I Heart You edition. Again, there will be 300 copies of each of these. Get my notes here. Uh, yes, limited to uh, 250 for the I Heart You and 300 for the Naughty I Heart You. I apologize for the incorrection. So 250 for the nice Naughty. There will be 300. The nice edition right here will be 25. The Naughty will be 30. But wait, that's not all. What would a promo be without? Homages. Well, we make some of the greatest homages, and the one we are very happy to show you guys today is Lady Death Fantasies. This is the Phantom Death, which is an homage to the controversial Phantom Lady number 17 bondage cover. Stephen Butler, Sanju Nivangun, and Dan Feldmeyer are the creative team on this cover. It's $25. And there will be only a hundred of these available. Once they are sold out, poof, that's it. They are out. Until I present uh, mock-ups or APs, BPs, whatever is available. Um, but this is an homage to the classic bondage cover from Fantas Fant Phantom Lady number seven. Oh my gosh, it's Wednesday and I got a case on the Mondays. Blah, tongue tied. This is something, this stuff will go live on Friday, 9 a.m. And I just finished these up yesterday afternoon. This is the Lady Death Lingerie. This is the Heartless Metal Edition. Just finished these yesterday uh, after lunch. So these are done. These will be $100 a piece. And there is only going to be 77 of these. So once these are sold out, there you go. 77. $100, this will be available along with these other three beautiful editions on Friday, 9 a.m. Friday, 9 a.m. But some of you guys are like, well, I, I like prints. Well, we got you covered there. 11 by 17, the Naughty I Heart You by Sun K. We have 11 by 17s available for that. This will go available on Friday morning at 9 a.m and end on Monday, 5 p.m. There is the nice edition, 11 by 17. Gary, um, I sent you the invoice for these three. Um, I know you're really excited. And for those of you who don't know, uh, Gary Compton probably has the largest uh, collection of 11 by 17 prints uh, 
of the collectors out here. So um, you'll definitely be seeing him at Swarm Fest. He's a hell of a sweet guy, really nice, friendly man. Um, so I can't wait for you guys to meet him. But Gary Compton, uh, I know you were excited to see these because you even called me and asked me about them. Uh, and then here's the 11, uh, 11 by 17 homage print that will also be available on Friday. Uh, these prints will run you $16 a piece. And yes, Brian will sign those if you ask. So this is what we'll be presenting to you guys first thing Friday, 9 a.m. These are limited edition, 100 copies, uh, 77 available, 250, 300, and 100 copies. So don't delay. These stuff will not last. They will go very quickly. So get right in there and scoop them up. Let's see. Karen, hello. I'm going to say my hellos there. Hi, Eric. Hi, Jay. Ace. I have to hold my mouth. <laughs> Look at those. Yeah, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. Karen Walsh, welcome. Eric. Jay Taylor. Um, who else do we got in the room? Look at all you great people. Josh, of course. Don't picture sounding like that. Well, I can't make my voice be a sexy lady death voice. I'll try next time for you, Josh. Is that better? I doubt it. <laughs> Anywho, uh, thank you very much, guys. That is our Valentine's Day Darkest Heart editions that will go live Friday, 9 a.m., and more than likely, I have a feeling we're, we will have lots of sellouts on these items, so don't delay. Jump on that first thing Monday. Pick up those editions you want. Very, very beautiful stuff. Um, speaking of Kickstarter, I wanted to show you guys um, that Hell Witch, where we're at here. Um, I thought I'd break out a couple editions to show you uh, where we're at. Uh, Brian came in early yesterday morning. Uh, or was it Monday morning? It's all a blur. It's been a busy week for us here at HQ. Uh, Brian was in here early just signing table after table after book after book. So you saw the photos. You saw um, him doing the deeds and getting everything signed for you guys. But I thought you guys would like to see. Here's the Sacrilegious Hardcover Edition. So show you this stuff is done. We are compiling everything that's signed and unsigned, getting all our ducks in a row so we can start pulling them and get this stuff shipped out. Also, here is the hollow foil edition. He got a bunch of these signed yesterday. So I thought I'd show you guys and see where we're at on those. Instead of just seeing a photograph, well, let's show it to you live. Lenticulars have been signed and are just about ready to get everything lined up so we can start packing for you guys. I really love... Uh, making the uh, lenticulars. I kind of figured out a way to uh, make them a lot faster than I could in the past, and um, they just fun lenticular cover uh, we've had. I absolutely love that one. It's amazing. And then I thought I'd present to you guys and show you the soft cover edition. Um, these are all been laid out to get signed. There's a lot of unsigned copies, so I thought I'd show you guys a really nice video representation of these beauties that we We'll start mailing out to you guys soon. All right, it's 12.15, my tummy's rumbling. Let's get things started over at the catacombs. Catacombs, catacombs. Got stuff for you at the catacombs. Before you hit the catacombs, Cataclysmic Majesty launches. Coming up, seven days. Brian will do a full reveal later today. I'm not gonna show you guys anything uh, just show you maybe a couple of the photos of some of the items to expect. The Mega Hollow Foil Edition. I can't wait till uh, Brian shows you guys this stuff. They're beautiful. Jimmy's getting everything set up and ready to go. Heavy Metal Edition, guys. Lady Death Kickstarter. Seven days. Seven days. And of course, what would a Kickstarter be without some Dan Mendoza fun? So guys, come down the pipe. Brian will be revealing all the additions and all the different tiers. Uh, emails are sent out to let you guys get ready. Because the madness and the cataclysmic majesty start soon. Can't wait for you guys to join us. Let's hit them catacombs, shall we? So, catacombs. I do some digging around, trying to find some old stuff, the last of the stuff. Um, 
anything weird that's not nailed down that they will let me present to you, well, I'd bring it here to this show. So, I figured, you know what? It's almost Valentine's Day, so why not bring something that was very popular last year and sold out fairly quickly, because all I have is bulk copies. So, this is Lady Death Lingerie Black Heart Naughty Edition. We offered that last year. These sold extremely well and very fast, and I present it here to you, the number six edition. I also have the Lady Death Laundry Noir. This is the Black Heart Edition. This is also a number five. This is a vault copy. I know, I can't believe it. it's like <laughs> 2022 uh, can't come soon enough. And I'm like, wow, it's literally one year away from Swarmfest. So yeah, it's, it worked. it's coming here quick, so fast, I can't wait. I also have thrown up the number five vault copy of lingerie, Lady Death Lingerie number one, the Blackheart Hollow Foil Edition. Yes, these can be signed by Brian for those who are not familiar with the show. Uh, Brian is more than happy to sell your copies that you pick up here at Coffin Comics and, of course, here at the Catacombs. Also, Got some fun classics. This is a early jeweled edition. This is Lady Death Hot Shots Queen Edition. And it is a number three. All this stuff you will find on the catalog. Carmen, thank you for joining us. It's a number three edition, so I have the beautiful COA. And man, I, I wish the light would pick up the Schwartzky crystals. Schwartzky crystals. I still can't say it right. I'll get it right one of these days. Maybe with vodka in me. We'll, we'll do a lot of practicing and rehearsing me saying Schwatsky Crystals after I add some vodka. Deal? Deal. All right, next up I have the Hell Witch Hellborn. First appearance of Gotha mock-up edition. This is an official Coffin Comics mock-up. has a COA in the back. There is no printing on the inside. It's blank interiors. Uh, because when we make these, these are just a representation of what the book final product will look like. So we got a mock up there for you. That's a very beautiful image, too. Another mock up. Gotta put my fingers up on this one because, well, you'll just be like, thanks for the memories on this one. Ha 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 ha. This is the Hell Witch, the Forsaken, Brisque, and Slippery Edition by Lorenzo. Am I covering that up properly? Yes. It's, there's a whole lot to fill up in that image. <laughs> oh, Scorcher, yes. Um, I think... I think I might have more. I don't know, Jay. Oh, wait, yeah. Speaking speak of the devil, here they are. Um, these might be the final two copies. I don't know. Um, like I say, I, I find lots of stuff in old boxes that were labeled for cons when we used to go to cons and um, other fun events like that. But, Jay had mentioned it, this is the Scorched Earth Heavy Metal Edition. These are my last two copies that I've found so far. Last two, and I'm presenting them here to you. I'm a poet, and I just don't know it. But, no one will pay me to be a poet, because, whew, boy, I'm corny. <laughs> I am. I'm a total corny guy. Okay, now these are going to be scratch and dent metal covers. This is Lady Death Oblivion Kiss Diodato Jr. Metallic Edition. I have two of these available. And they have little dents. Sometimes when things leave us here at HQ, uh, they're in God's hands. And we pray to the comic gods that they bless and protect all packages that leave HQ uh, and head towards your uh, wonderful homes. And sometimes evil attacks the packages. And as a result, sometimes I'll get metal editions brought back and they have little dings on them. Doesn't happen very often, um, but it happened to these two and I'm happy to present them here. These I thought would be the safest copies to show because I didn't think they would hurt anyone or cut them, because these uh, corners can get a little sharp. So um, I, 
have these here for you too. So if you're a big fan of the Mike Diodato Metallic Edition, really good value, something still great to hang on your wall. It's still a beautiful piece for anyone's collection. So I have those here. Two copies available today, right now. Get it while the getting's good. Here's the other two metal ones. These ones just happen to be signed by Brian. And again, uh, another instance where uh, the package is left HQ. Everything is packaged beautifully by our crew, I might add. But then it's in, it's in the hands of those of a higher power to look after. And sometimes evil forces attack the packages. Um, and it's unfortunate when it happens. But... It lets me introduce them here for you guys at a great value. Lady Death, Blast Me Anthem, Heavy Metal Editions. Both of these copies I have for you today are signed. So, got the COAs ready to go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm here all week. Next up, some classics. I have Lady Death versus War Angel. This is a half issue, and this is the standard cover. Boom. Oh. I have a few copies of these available right now. A lot of these um, Lady Death War Angel copies I have are limited stock. So once I'm out, I'm out. I have like three or four copies of the wrap cover. And that's all I have for Lady Death versus War Angel. Just these two covers. Everything else got scooped up really fast on eBay when I first put them up there. Uh, but I held back from stock and I have introduced them here. So... If you're wanting some early War Angel, another character for part of the Sworn, I highly recommend scooping them up if you see them, because they will not last, because I'm almost sold out of all copies. Next up, I have Lady Death the Wicked Half. This is the commemorative cover. Check my time. Okay, eight minutes to show you guys this stuff. Yes, Coffin Catacomb section. Click it. And pick it. Hmm, yeah, sounded like a lottery commercial there for a second. This is the uh, Lady Death, the Wicked Half. This is the Hellcat cover. So click on the catacombs is where you'll find these selections. Uh, also, a heads up, guys. Um, Jimmy and I are talking. The Scratch and Dent section will start getting some stock loaded up. I'm going to be pulling some images and getting stuff ready to load up uh, for some more scratch and dent stock. Everything I had on there previously has sold out. So I'll be uploading up with some new stuff. Uh, thank you everyone for who's been uh, picking up those really great deals. Those books are still beautiful, good reader copies that I highly recommend because it's a really scorching hot deals. Ooh, scorchers. Next up, I have Lady Death, The Wicked Half. This is the premium cover. Looks like I have about six to 10 copies left. And that is it. It will be sold out. Like I'm sure this next copy will. Oh, pardon me. I took the Berksy challenge before we got on the air. This is Lady Death. This is the half issue. This is the sexy cover. Juan Jose Rip. I love the guy's art. I think he did some amazing covers. So I have about 10, 10 of these left and that is it. Once they are gone, poof, I am completely sold out of everything Lady Death, The Wicked. And my last two copies of The Wicked that I have to show you guys today. This is the Victory cover. And I only have one of these. This is the Commemorative cover, my last one. I only have one available for the show today. Uh, once these items sell out, everybody, that is it. Um, that's all I have left of that edition of uh, Avatar stuff. My Avatar stock is getting extremely low. Everyone has been just scooping it up and loving on it. So, yeah, let's go back to the comments and see what I have. Oh, who we got here? Muriel uh, Cantrell. Did I have to say that right? I hope I am. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, you look like uh, much is this stuff. Uh, they are in the Coffin Comic Shop. Uh, the stuff will range anywhere. The high end, uh, I think the metal cover I have is $100. Uh, I have some mock-ups going for about $75, $125. Uh, 
All the Avatar stuff are reasonably priced between anywhere from $4 all the way up to $10. Uh, I hope that helped you, Ms. Kentrell. Oh, you're welcome. Look at, see, this is a great crew because everyone jumps in and helps all the uh, new viewers um, where to go and answer their questions before I can get to it. So thank you guys. You're an amazing, amazing group of people. Put my hat back on. I gotta fix this. If anyone knows how you can fix this, please let me know. I'm really heartbroken. My sombrero broke. Um, however, this thing I found out is uh, late 70s, early 80s. So this thing's about 40 years old. So I'm sure it is about time it's starting to fall apart. So uh, I love this hat. I, I got a backup. I just need to get it down so I can wear that. Play on the next week's show. So real quick, what we got here? All right, Jay. Quick question for you. How often do you normally write poems? Is it something you just do on the end? Or you, um, you know, where are you getting your ideas for these poems? Because I'm really liking what you're putting out. They're really well written. And it makes me wonder, do you write other type of poetry uh, on your own from your own time? Um, I was very curious about it because you definitely have a good flow with those. So very much. Well, keep doing them, because they're really good, Jay. I really, really enjoy your poetry, and I know everyone else does. Keep posting them. Um, they're really amazing, and I, I look forward whenever you get one. So when uh, Mel messaged me yesterday that um, you had a, a message for me uh, in regards to a new poem, yeah, I jumped at the chance and made sure I printed that up and got it ready. So thank you. Wait, you never did, dude. I think you should uh, really do some more. And it doesn't have to be about Lady of the Carnival. It's just anything that flows out of you, man. If, if they're that well and you just started doing it, I say you keep going, man. You've you got a raw talent there. And I know I love them. I hope my dramatic readings um, uh, are a good representation of, of the poetry because um, they're really well written. Okay, real quick, I'm down to just a few more minutes. Uh, wanted to let you guys know that there is still some Hellwitch Hellborn items from our first chapter of Hellwitch left. There is still some hollow foil editions, which are running $40. The Premier Edition, which is running $20. There's still some of those available. And a lot of this stuff is getting uh, low on stock as well. The uh, Hell Witch Metallic Jewel and the Jeweled Edition, there's still a few copies left. Um, the Jeweled Edition by Don McTague is stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, this image is super popular. Uh, I remember I presented a couple BPs or APs on the uh, Jeweled Edition and it proved to be very popular. I'm surprised we still have some Metallic Jewels. I haven't run across any. Uh, in the past year or so so it's good to see that there's still some stock there for you guys to scoop up uh, some other things that are available the homage which is a awesome homage of the first appearance of uh, spider-man versus superman which was the first crossover for dc and marvel um, with their characters meeting it back in 1976 77 i believe um, so really wonderful homage by Marat Michaels. There's still copies of that available. The Risque Gotha edition. You saw the mock-up for the um, for those editions that I have showed you today on the catacombs. I only got one of those mock-ups available. Uh, there's still a few hardcovers left. Not many. I remember helping out with the inventory and noticing, wow, we're down to double digits. And they're not in like the 50s, 60s. They're more like 40s. So, if you've been really interested in the Hell Witch Hellborn hardcover, scoop them up. Stock will be running out. There's still some heavy metal editions, which these were the first metals I ever made here at Coffin. Boy, learning how to make those were frustrating and a dickens to deal with. But I got the hang of it. Now I do nothing but look forward to making metals and lenticular covers. So, real quick, um, thank you everyone for joining me today. Thank you everyone for celebrating uh, Lady Death Day. The win winners will be announced and picked um, once we have gone through all these amazing pictures. And um, really, guys, thank you for a wonderful 27 years. This character, Lady Death, 
has been with us for so long. Um, I'll never forget the first time I saw her appear in Evil Ernie, and I was hooked, and from there we are, 27 years later, and she's still with us today. Thank you to you guys for keeping independent publishing alive and well, and showing that you don't have to be Marvel DC to be successful when you have a great, great readers and fans just like yourselves. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining. I'm Julian the Hooligan. I will see you Monday on our YouTube show, Coffin Comics Shopping Network. See you guys then. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. The week is almost over. I'll talk to you guys later. If you have any questions for me, um, please reach out to inquiries at Coffin Comics. Say, attention, Julian, I have a question. Or I need some help finding something, and I'll do what I can to help you guys out. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day, and we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Make it your own. I got to go around the long way and turn this off. Weep, weep. Oh, thank God I didn't trip. Bye, guys. <laughs>